somehow they were able to get the lock off and then open it up. This is what this storage container near 23rd Avenue in Peoria at Rose Mofford Park is supposed to look like inside. Now it's empty after crooks broke the locks twice in the last two months and stole 21 bicycles designed for the disabled. So this was full all the way back and we had about 30, 32 bikes in here. Executive Director Jerry Kittlehut can't believe it. Because there's not a lot of people that can afford, you know, a $2,500 uh, hand cycle. Uh, so they really rely on us to get out and to uh, get active. I have um, cerebral palsy. The thefts mean Kristen Klink can't ride, a group activity she looks forward to every month. I just have so much fun. I feel free. She's not able to ride a regular bike, so the special recumbent bike she borrows from the nonprofit Daring Adventures means a lot to her. Oh, I'm so sad and I'm bad. The crooks left behind 10 cycles, which are now being stored at the Daring Adventures office. You can see just how specialized these cycles are, this one, for someone who has a hard time gripping but can still move forward. It's not a common cycle that you see. Why would anyone want these specialized bicycles? I have no idea. Now he has to put a halt on the program until he can find replacements. In North Phoenix, Maria Hechenova for Arizona's family.